all right yeah i want to show you how to solve this problem that you are viewing on the screen and it happens to be a neco question so um if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel you need to subscribe so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified and then for you to be notified you need to press the notification bell you need to activate it so that you can get the notification whenever i upload a new video and then you need to practice so don't just be watching the video uh or the videos make sure when you watch you practice and then look for questions you can search for questions on google and you solve the question so you need to practice that's very very important and then don't forget to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students tell them about my youtube channel this is uh the work that is done raw this is not an animated work is a work that is done you see how i handle the compass i handle the cell squares and some other instruments that i use in doing this work okay let's look at the question the question says that the figure below shows the front elevation and an incomplete plan of a rectangular pyramid cut obliquely draw full size question Roman figure one says that the given view that is what we are giving here and then the complete plan the complete plan and the last question is the first auxiliary elevation on plane bb so this is the that these are the diagrams it has that uh, diagrams we have this to be the elevation and here is the plan which is an incomplete plan then we have plane bb which is inclined at an angle 60 degree to the horizontal so we are going to answer the questions now but the first thing you need to do is to replicate what we see here replicate this here we have that the length here is 40 millimeters why this is 50 millimeters then you follow these dimensions and produce what we have here and also this you can place it anywhere that you like so just, not anywhere that you like sorry not anywhere that you like but it has to be here and then it has to be this plane bb has to incline at an angle 60 degree to this horizontal line so once you are done with that i will now show you the next thing to do now as i said that you need to replicate the diagrams that we are given so i've replicated the diagrams so this is an incomplete plan and this is the elevation that we are given one thing that i have not put here is this so you join you join one and three together it's a straight line like this and then let me make it multicolor like this okay so you join one and three together and then you join two and four together join two and four together with a straight line all right so uh this plan is incomplete and we are asked to draw we have drawn the giving view this is the giving view so we have drawn it so then we are asked to draw the incomplete uh, the complete plan we are asked to draw the complete plan so i've answered roman figure one so roman figure two now is for us to draw the complete plan to draw the complete plan, if you look at the cutting plane that cut this uh, this uh, rectangular pyramid, it meets this point. Though I've numbered the points on this plan, this is one, two, three, four. So it's better you number it. And then by the time I draw this line up here, I have point one prime, two prime here, and here I have point three prime, four prime here. So the cutting plane touch this side at this point. So this is point one and two and here this is point three and four so what you need to do is that to complete the plan from this point here you draw a vertical line down into the plan so this is it so draw a vertical line like this so this vertical line it touch this line one at this point and it touch line two at this point so take note of that then you move to point three and four on the elevation so you draw a vertical line so the vertical line touch point three at this point and touch line four at this point so this point we are going to connect them together we are going to connect them together to complete the plan so we will connect two and three together with a straight line and then we connect one and four together with a straight line and then we connect one and two together with a straight line connect three and four together with a straight line 
So having done this, so this happens to be a solid object, so you need to arch the surface. So you need to arch the surface, just look at me. So with your 45 degree set square on the edge of your T-square, so you arch the surface with... So the arching lines should be equally spaced. If you have watched my video on the uh, on sectional view, so you'll have understood what I'm doing here. And there's some other work that I've done this, so you need to watch them and learn and practice. Please, you need to practice this work. So don't just watch it. This is a practical subject which you need to practice so that you not forget and then you'll be able to tackle any question that comes your way. So we have completed the plans. We have answered question uh, Roma figure 2. So Roma figure 3 now says that we should draw the first auxiliary elevation on BB. So on plane BB. So this is plane BB now which I have drawn already. So uh, let me make it a little bit thick so that we can all see it. Okay. So the plane is inclined at an angle 60 degree to this horizontal plane. So this angle here is 60 degree. So the angle is 60 degree. So the next thing that we are going to do now to draw the auxiliary first auxiliary elevation on plane BB. So what you need to do, so this plane is inclined at an angle 60 degree. So we need to draw perpendicular lines to this line to, th to this plane BB. So we need to draw perpendicular lines to it. And to draw perpendicular lines to it, so we have to use the 30 degree side of our 60, 30 by 60 degree side square. So from each of these point, from this point, from this point, from this point, from this point, we will draw lines. We draw a line from each point. So we draw this line with the 30 degree side of your side square. And also from this point, you draw a line like this and from this point also you draw a line and then from this point you draw a line okay so when this object is being viewed in this direction it's being viewed in this direction we are looking at it in this direction i'm going to see this line from here to here so this line from here to here where is it located? But before, but before that, there are other things that I need to put on this work. So, because when I'm looking at it in this direction, I will see this surface. I'm going to see this surface. So, I will see this surface here. So, we are going to put this surface. We are going to put it a bit. For us to put it there, so we need to, from this point, draw a horizontal line like this. So, from this point also, draw a horizontal line to this side. So, from this point, draw a horizontal line to this side then draw a vertical line draw a vertical line here and then i'm going to call this point i'm going to call it point a so this is point b this is point c and this is point g okay now so the next thing we are going to do is that so you take your compass so take your compass so Put the pinpoint at point A here. So this is going to be our uh, point A. So this is point A now. So this point on plane BB. So because we are asked to draw the first auxiliary elevation on plane BB. So you this is point A. So you take the distance between A and B here, bring it to this point here, point A here, and you draw an arc here. So draw an arc here. So this is point A b here now and then from a extend to c extend to point c here extend to point c then bring it to point a so draw an arc here so draw an arc so this is point c then from a again extend to point d so which is the apex of the pyramid. It's a point from the apex of the pyramid. So take this distance, so put it at A, and you make an arc here. So you make an arc here. So this is point D. So this is point D. So the next thing that we are going to do is that with our 60 degree size square, so you draw lines. 
from here. So we draw a line from here. So we draw a line like this. Oh, I should have used my Okay, so draw a line here and also so from this point C draw a line and from here also draw a line like this. Alright, so having done this, so the next thing that we are going to do is that so when I'm looking at this object in this direction, when I'm looking at this object in this direction, so I'm going to see. So let me show you something that I've done here. Because when it comes to auxiliary views, you should be able to produce the isometric view of an object. Look at this object. This is what we are going to be looking at. So when we are looking at it in this direction. So I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to see this is point two now, and this is point three. Here is point four. So point one is hidden here. Point one is hidden somewhere here. So point one is hidden somewhere here. And I have this. So when I'm looking at it in this direction, I'm going to see this point and this point. So th that is point two and point three. So what you need to do is that when you go on this line, from this point, when you go on this line, so this is the point, point two, on this plane here now, on this plane BB. So this is point two. Then for three, so you go like this. So this is point three. And I will also see line I will see line 3 and 4. So this is line 3 and 4. So I will just follow this. So this is a point. So by the time I look at this, this is a thick line. This is a thick line. is a base. So I will just join this together with a straight line. So there is it. I just join this together with a straight line. So the two sides of the base of the pyramid will be seen and they will be they give us a straight line. So that's what I've done here. They give us a straight line. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to do is that, so we need to locate this surface here. We need to locate this surface. We need to locate this surface. So if you look at this surface, so this surface here, this point is point B, and this point is point C. Why the base here is what is point A. So we have already gotten point B here, point C here. So we need to get this surface. We need to get this surface in between B and C around here. So what you are, what you are going to do is this. So with your 30 degree cell square, you draw a line from this point here. And you draw a line from this point, from this point, from this point. So you have to be very careful with the lines because there are now many. So you have to be very careful so that you can see the lines and be able to do what you're supposed to do. So from this point, draw a straight line. And also from this point here, from this point, so draw a line like this. Also from this point, from this point, draw a line. And from this point, draw a line like this. All right. So now let's locate the surface. We need to get the surface first before we can do any other thing. So now, so for me to get this point, so this point here, so this point which is point two, so let me call it, so point two prime, this is point one prime, and this is point three prime, and this is point four prime in the plan. So then for point one, I'll just follow this line one here. I'm going up. If you look at this line one, is on C as we have here. This is C, so it's at this point here. So point one is located on C. So I follow this line along here. I'm going up, going up. So let me okay. So I'm going up here. So this is line C. So it is this point here. It is this point. And then point two. I will follow this line. So point two is also on C. So this is the point here. Then point three is on B. Point three is on B. So this is point B here. So point three is on B. Point four is on B. So I follow this line. I follow this line. I'm going up like this. Going like this. So I get to this point. So this is the point. This is the point. Then point four. 
is also on B, so I will go up like this. So this is 0.4 here. This is 0.4 on B. So what I'm going to do is that I will connect these lines, I will connect them together. I will connect them together. So this is it. Connect them together like this. And I will also connect this together. This is what we are going to see when we are looking at the object on this plane BB, upon which we are asked to draw the auxiliary, auxiliary first auxiliary elevation. All right, so this is the surface. So we have drawn the surface. So the next thing that we are going to do here is that when I'm looking at this object in this direction, I will see a line here, a slant line at this point 2, a slant line at this point 3, and a slant line at this point 4. So what I'm saying is this. So you see this slant line, I'm going to see it. So we are going to connect it with this point, and also this slant line, we are going to connect it to this point, and also this, we are going to connect this point. But this line, point 2, line 1, is hidden from us. So what I'm saying is this. So this point, this is where we have point 2. We follow this line, this is where we have point 2 on this point A here. So I will connect it with this point. So this is it. So you just connect it with a slant line like this. Then point 3. So we see a line, slant line at point 3. So I will follow this line. So it goes like this. So I will go in on it. So when I get to this point, so this is the point, I will connect it with this point. So this is it. So you connect it together with this point so there is it and then so there is also a slant line at point 4 so if you follow this this is point 4 here so we are going to connect it to this point so there is it so you connect it with this point and also so this point line 1 so is hidden so it is hidden, so I, I will just put it there. So it may not, you may not need to put it there, but I just put it there as hidden uh, line. So there is it. So I put it here, like this. Okay, so this is where it will be. So this surface is a solid, you now this object is a solid object. So it means that I need to arch this surface. So I need to arch this surface. So put arching lines on this surface like this. Okay. So don't forget that the arching lines are equally spaced and they are parallel to each other. So you make use of your 45 degree cell square to draw the arching lines. So this is what we are asked to do. So this is what we are asked to do. So this is what we call fixed auxiliary elevation. So the auxiliary elevation is projected out of the plan. Why auxiliary plan is projected out of the given elevation. So go and watch my videos. We don't understand what in by auxiliary views. So go and watch my videos on auxiliary views and don't forget to practice. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students in your school or other school. So I really appreciate your attention. Don't forget to practice. Very, very important. God bless you.